In today's video, I want to show you guys on how to design a very professional looking business card with Canva. Having a clean and professional looking business card could definitely leave a great impression of you. So here I am, I'm on Canva and I don't have the Canva Pro. Okay, I just want to let you know I'm on the free version of Canva. So I'm going to just type in business card here and I'm going to do a landscape business card here. You could do a portrait business card. You can still follow my design methodologies, but I'm going to do a landscape in this case. So first of all, I want to make a business card that has my face in it, right? So in that aspect, I'm going to go upload a photo real quick of me. Just, you know, probably my YouTube channel profile, right? All right, so here you go. I have an old photo of me. I'm going to go to elements. I'm going to go to frames and I'm going to make it into a circle. So I could just drag my photo in there and I could make myself a little circle. I'm going to put uh, my name in a kind of like a black text, like a background or like a black wear here. So I'm just going to put that in right here, a darker black, kind of like this, right? So I'm going to add my full name here, obviously on my business card. So there you go. So I have my full name here. And I'm gonna bold it, obviously. And I'm, I'm using this font called Nord. Um, you could use, again, any font you want. Now, I know that it looks a little bit boring, but just having it white. So I wanna add a rectangle, and this is the blue that I want, I'm talking about. I wanna just pick a very, very pastel blue color. So I wanna make it like this. I'm just gonna rotate it at about like 30 degree angle here. And I'm just gonna make it a little longer. So it kinda just expands past my business card, kind of like having it on the corner here. I'm gonna put it on the back, and boom, there you go. So now I have this white, black, and blue business card theme. And as a matter of fact, actually, I could probably fill this in with a gradient. So Canva has this new feature now where you could add gradients, and now I'm just gonna actually use that gradient feature and change it to that blue color. I kind of lost that color, but I could you know easily pick another one. So I'm gonna pick a light blue, and I'm gonna pick kind of like a darker blue. If I can't make a stroke, I'm just gonna make a circle myself. I'm just gonna color it white. And I'm gonna send this to the back in, pr in front of the gradient and I'm putting it like right here. So now you can see I have like a nice white border behind my photo. And what you can do is I can, actually you can select by control and shift clicking the back. I'm just gonna control G or command G or you can just right click and hit group uh, over here. And I grouped it into one layer. So here you go. So now I have my photo, I have my name and then I have this like gradient background, right? I could even try to smooth this out as well by adding another circle and making it tangent to this square right here, as you can see and make it like proportional like this. And I'm gonna make this into the same color as the one I use in the back. And then I could write down what I do down here. So I could obviously write down like, I don't know, you know, video creator, like my title, right? Whatever it is, video creator. Um, I'm gonna unbolt this. I'm gonna make the font a little bit smaller. Software engineer. And there's a lot of space here. So I'm just gonna push this back a little bit. Again, I'm just control clicking to select a lot of things at once. And you know what? I'm going to make this a little bit more. I'm going to add a little bit more accent lines here. So I'm going to just make this into a straight line here and put it like on top. But then I'm going to change the transparency to like 50. And I, I like adding accent lines. I don't know about you guys, but adding accent lines just kind of adds like a little nice touch to it. Or maybe it goes, maybe it's better to go below. There you go. So I'm gonna hear, I'm gonna look for a phone icon here and boom. This is the, literally the first phone icon I found, right? And again, I don't like to have it like 100% black. So I'm going to elements here. I'm gonna type in mail and literally the first mail icon that I found. And I really like the circle motive that's going on here. So I'm gonna go um, change this color to transparent and add a stroke to it. Maybe like two or something. And I'm just gonna shrink it down. Maybe two is too big, obviously, but I'll do a one. There you go. I'm just gonna shrink it down just so it can match this telephone icon. Bring the circle down, shrink this email icon here and place it just right inside like this. You see? And then now what I like about Canva is obviously they have, you know, the snapping feature where you can snap and stuff. So icon that, and then I can also add, you know, whatever you want really, like a location or like an address, so. I just put an address, boom, like this, this one is perfect. A dark color, but not black, if that makes sense. It's, I could kind of tell in the eyes. I know it's kind of hard to tell for people, but I could kind of tell that it's not. So there you go. I've just had a phone number. I've had an email and I have a location, right? Now I'm going to add a text here and I'm going to put in, you know, obviously a phone number. So I'm going to do just a random phone number, completely random for my keyboard put it in here like so I can align it with the phone logo I could also add my email here so you know Jeremy's email again not my email here don't email this email not mine put it right here right in the middle 
And I could add my finally my location, which I could try to align with this. I mean, I'm just gonna eyeball it. If you have a very specific address, you could perhaps just change it to, you know, your actual street name here. Um, and let me just kind of select the whole elements and maybe move it this way. And now what I can do is I can add like maybe a little bit of something here, right? Like a little bit of blurb, a little bit of, um, I don't know, something to fill up the space right here, this gradient, you know, specialties, right? For example, and I'm going to bolt this. I'm going to change this color to white. And what I like most about this is that sometimes the color contrast is a little bit jarring in my opinion. So you could actually add a little shadow here in the back, change the color to, you know, black. And, you know, you can modify that shadow again. So where's that shadow? You could change the blur a little bit higher. You could change the offset to zero. So it's just kind of right in the middle. Transparency, I'm going to make it a little higher. Four years of Java experience. I could do two plus years. You know, Adobe Premiere Pro, which is what I used to edit. Again, it doesn't really matter what it is. You could even put a quote down here too. You know what? I actually would want to see how it looks like if I actually have another one of these gradients and just put it in the back, like go negative 30 here and put it right here and put it in the back. Oh yeah, this is clean. Yeah, this is good. I like this design. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a backside of it. And for the backside, I'm just going to keep it really clean and really minimalistic as well. So I'm just going to steal a bunch of elements here that I've made, like this gradient, for example. And I could just make it go like from you know, to the, from here to the top like this and even make it like, I can even make it like this, just see how it looks like. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to add a gradient again. Just, you know, I think the more shapes you add here, the more aesthetic your thing will look. But I, again, don't quote me on this. You know what? I'm actually going to keep this top line right here and I'm going to keep it consistent with my other one, just so I know like you know, it, it flows nicely when you flip the page, right? There's no like suddenly the this line is gone. And I'm gonna put it at 75 uh, transparency here just to make it look a little bit bolder and darker. So in the back here, you usually put in like your company name or what you're associated with, you know. And I'm just gonna change this to Jeremy Films. Obviously, this is like my branding, right? Is this the blue color as you guys know? So I like to like change it to this color. And let's do this build your personal brand and improve your daily life. Or maybe I don't even need this tips and tutorial, right? I'm just gonna change it to build your personal brand and improve your daily life and Jeremy Films. Actually, I'm not gonna bold this. This is, I think it's better if it's not bold. And I also wanna add a little bit of spacing to the letters. So here this, this one right here, letter, letter spacing, right? And I'll copy this again and start the whole process again. This time maybe I'll go to like a, uh, like a more, not too shallow angle or not too steep of an angle here. So we'll go like a 10 degrees on the side right here. Maybe like a 10 degrees on the top right here. And then since I don't have a logo or I don't, you know, associate myself with a logo right now, I'm just going to add like a video camera and maybe I'll add a circle on it too. You know, I like my circles. So no color for this, add a stroke like a two point stroke and change the color to this color. Boom. Okay. So now you can see here that if this was your logo, obviously you'd put your logo here and there you go. See, you can see how you can easily make a business card design here on Canva. You could copy exactly what I did here, or you could try to create your own design and your own motive. And again, this is the free version. I didn't pay anything at all. This is not the pro version whatsoever. It's really flexible in terms of uploading your own photos, changing the color, changing fonts, adding shapes, whatever it is. So with that being said, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video on how to make a professional and clean looking business card on Canva. Don't forget to comment down below on how it turns out for you and your business as well. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to hit the like and hit the subscribe button down below. And I'll I'll see you guys all in the next video.